Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin, who's going to talk to us today about Final Cut Pro 10 and... Compound clips. I love compound clips. <laughs> Don't you? No, seriously. I dream about compound clips. <laughs> compound clips. Well, I mean, not maybe that deeply, but... Um, you can do a lot with compound clips inside Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, like what? Well, for one thing, you can actually create what I call a pre-build. Let's say... Oh, a pre-build. A pre-build. Yeah, that's what I call them. You can call them whatever you want. But here's okay. the deal. We're, um, we're working with this vineyard that wants to have like three promos. And let's say little interviews fo focusing on specific uh, aspects of the vineyard. And they have an intro for each one. Well, why recreate that intro for every single promo? Why not pre-build an intro and then reuse it in the projects? So program? an intro of some clips and some clips effects and or whatever that you can reuse over and over, over and again. Over and over and over and over again. Okay, so it's something that could live in your event browser. Correct. It could actually live in your event browser. Show us, All Master right. Steve. So how it would work is this. Okay. okay. So I have this this awesome time lapse that's that shot. Now yeah, who that's, did that? Because that is odd. gorgeous. It's just awesome. Yeah. It's a 7D time lapse, and then we have this was an epic time, epically epic time lapse. So I'm going to go ahead and select these clips, and I'm going to also add this shot here. This uh, just add like command clicks, select these. Okay. Okay. Then three, maybe those three are shots. The, those three shots are going to form the basis of our intro. A okay. little opening. Right, okay. a little opening. And then I'm going to right click and choose new compound new clip. New compound clip. And of course a window will come up. Let's call this um, Quintessa intro. Okay? Okay. Click OK. As soon as we do that, there's a little Quintessa oh, it's intro represented as a clip in the media browser. Yeah. And you can see that it is in fact a compound clip by virtue that it has a badge. That, that badge. badge. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is open it up, double click. And it opens okay. up into its own timeline. So I'm so wait a minute. I'm not I'm not looking at like something from the project browser now. No, this is not a timeline it's not from a, the project. This is okay. the beauty. It's a timeline to be sure. So it has all the attributes of a timeline. You can trim, you can edit, you can well, you'll see that in a minute. You can pretty much treat it like any other timeline, except this timeline yeah. actually is part of the event. And you can see that right up here. Look at if Easy. you look at the upper left, you can see there's the event. There's the compound, compound clip, clip that's associated okay. with it's event. part of the event. Not a project. Okay. So it always lives in the event library. Great. Okay, so it's pretty neat. Now, like I said, it's like any other timeline. So well, I don't like the order of these clips. I really want this sunrise shot to be first. First, of course. Of course. you got to start with and the sunrise. And then this second sunrise uh, yeah. should be here. And of course, I'm going to edit it. This is maybe a little long, so I'm going to trim it out right uh, it out right there. Yeah, wait, maybe, what did you just oh, press to do that? Oh, undo that. What I'm using is my, my favorite, favorite keyboard command. It's option, right bracket. It'll trim the tail to the skimmer to position. To the skimmer location. Right. You don't even need to click anywhere with the playhead. No, no, that's yeah. the no way, clicking. Is a awesome. lot less clicking in Final Cut Pro 10, Way right? less clicking. Yeah, just, I, just, just slide and bang and you're it's done. It's so much faster than Final Cut yep. 7. So now when I, I'm going to skim, I, I want to get up, like, just as the sun is kind of peeking on the left side of the frame here. And I'm going to use option, in this case, I'm going to use option left bracket to trim the top. Trim the top, yeah, okay. So, so tops top, and top, tails. Yeah, tops and tails. Okay. And uh, then over here, I'll leave that alone. But um, hit shift Z, but I got these three shots the way I like them here. Okay. Now, notice a lot of these don't have uh, audio. There's no sound effects. I'm going to add a sound effects like bed underneath those shots. Okay. Like maybe some chirping birds, some morning sounds, you know. Chicken, roosters, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we want to get some ambiance. Garbage trucks yeah, backing up. Back, beep, beep, exactly. beep, beep. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to the sound and was it music and sound browser? Music and sound library, something like that. Now yeah. I already have this clip already called up like, quite fortuitously. Okay. It's a sound of but is it is it part of Final Cut Pro 10? Yes, it's part of. Well, this is actually part of iLive. iLive but, sound but, but you you do see that you have Final Cut Pro sound effects yes. here too. So, yes. And those are free and you download them. But I'm using the iLive because I just. And you've got it. I've yeah. got it exactly. Yes, so sound. what I'm going to do is move the play to the beginning of the timeline. Select the sound clip and then press Q, which does a connect edit. And of course, it's longer than the clips we have there, so we have to Shift Z, Z to fit it to the window. Yeah, uh -huh. we'll select the clip and then Option, right bracket to trim, Shift Z, and now I've got the whole Ta da! Thing no dragging, bang, bang, boom, bang. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. Now, okay. this is going to be really loud, so I'm just going to bring this yeah, down. Yeah, you just want a little bit, bit of ambiance, right? Yeah, uh -huh. so now we'll just kind of hint at it. Yeah, just. I morning, can't hear anything. Just, yeah, like, <laughs> huh? <laughs> makes, there we go. It's little, just morning. There we go. Yeah, yeah there yeah. we go. Okay. okay, very nice. Now, so here's the beauty of this. I have this, this compound clip. It's represented by one clip in the timeline. And yes. you can skim through it. And, it, and you can even see here that the clip in the timeline 
uh, in the excuse me, meeting browser, you can see the audio of the sound effect we just added to it. So any changes you make are being immediately represented right in the thumbnail preview in the event browser. Yep. Cool. Amazing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this to our project. So I'm going to go back to our project library. Actually, click this little real command zero shortcut. I'm going to open up this Marcello interview because we want to put it at the beginning of this. Okay, so this is like a completed project, completed and you just project. want this to be the opening for it. Correct. Now, as I said earlier, there was three other promos that we're building. This yeah. is just one of them, and so we don't again don't want to recreate the intro for every single yes. one. So I'm going to move the play to the beginning. I'm going to select the clip, and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. It's called W for wedge. W for we a wedge. It's well, an insert right. it. But wedge is kind of helps like, you if you get. Yeah, wed yeah. You're wedging it. So <laughs> W, it puts it right it in right there. Again. So again, everything with the sound effects right there. Let's play it up. Play it there, and just jump over here, and you can see it's all three clips, and then of course it. Uh, we goes are to the sweet. The, the main, main guy. Now one other yeah. thing before we go. It's not just limited to sound effects. If you open this up, this is again, this is a timeline. You can add titles to this. You can add you can add effects to this. And transitions. Any, transitions. The whole the whole uh -huh. thing. So like, you're right. So let's say if I select this and hit Command T, I'm gonna just uh, create create transitions. So I got transitions now. Okay. Okay. Now one thing you do have to be aware of is that I only made changes to the media browser compound clip. So. The clip that was in the timeline that you already put, in, already put in there is not going to it's, reflect. It's not going to change it's that. So it's not going to ripple through all the timelines that you might have put it into. You're just changing the the source one in the event browser. These exactly. are separate. I just wanted to point that That's out. That's a good point. That's a really then, good so point. So now uh, you just simply delete that, and I'm reinserting it. And now you have the clip with the uh, with the transitions in it. Cool. But the, the thing is, you can make things quite complex yes. in the event browser with compound clips. So you can use all of the compositing capabilities in Final Cut Pro 10, which are deep, right? We've done Very earlier deep. shows that show that you can do all kind of blend modes and bring in graphics and composite titles and do all kind of interesting, cool things, uh, and then have that whole thing available for any project, for any right? Pro for any project. And just drop it in there. Yep, it's cool. fantastic tip. Steve, awesome tip. Thank you. And this is part, you, you cover this kind of stuff in your advanced Final Cut Pro training, Final yeah. Cut Pro 10 training, correct? It's uh, out now. You can get it at rippletraining.com. Rippletraining.com. And uh, anything else? That's it. Happy, holiday. Holiday. happy holidays. I don't know if it's Maybe. Holiday. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Before, happy Fourth of July. Either you had one or you're about to have one. Right. <laughs> exactly. Steve, thank you. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.